Uh, so today I'm going to take you through an exercise that's designed to uh, help engage your glutes, quads, and hamstrings while at the same time maximizing uh, tissue elasticity. So I think one of the biggest fallacies in the fitness industry or yoga or Pilates or some of these other modalities is like in order to, to create the stretch on the muscle, uh, you need to kind of like uh, push it to the extreme. Whereas this exercise that I'm about to take us through, it's designed to help engage the muscles around the hip flexor, uh, around your, your hip socket, and also engage the muscles around your low back so that the stretch can happen naturally. Uh, this is a great movement to do on days off, uh, days that you're going to be performing your sport or any functional movement activity in the gym. Uh, so I'll, I'll get right to it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to swing your legs up the wall, all right? And you want to take your arms to a cactus position, all right? And now if your wrists tend to float up like this, just take them wider till they go down. You want to search for a neutral spine and you want to make sure that your sacrum or your pelvis is heavy on the floor. So a lot of times if, you, if you're somebody with a, a tighter posterior chain, you might be kind of like this in which case you would just scoop back, bend your knees until the back of your waistband lands on the floor. I'll start here. I usually like to take three or four breaths to ground myself a bit. On an exhale, I'm going to intentionally retract my navel closer to the spine. All right, and straighten my legs at the same time. I do this one more time. I take an inhale, arch my low back off the floor. Exhale, pull the belly button down. From here, I'm going to drag my heels down. All right, once the foot lands, I'm going to press into my feet and lift my knees up until my shins are going to be parallel with the floor. All right, now the only thing I think about here is pressing into the wall. I literally want to think about moving this wall. If you feel too much weight on your head, just lower your knees. And the last thing is you want to make sure you're not deliberately tucking or scooping your tailbone under, but you're trying to relax the tailbone. When you accomplish this, you'll feel your stomach soften. And then one leg at a time, you're going to lift the leg up, all right, and just flex and extend your foot. You also might do a little bit of an ankle rotation. And then you bring it down. All right, you push into that foot, and same thing on the other side, flex and point. Now, when you're in the position with one leg up, I want you to notice what happens to the grounded leg. The tendency will be for the knee to move inward, and you want to do your best to keep that knee pressing out so that we can get the glute to engage. When you're finished, slowly bring the back of your rib cage down, low back to the floor, hips come down. You extend your legs, reach your arms back. It's like a downward facing dog on the floor. And just let it go. All right, and that's the first movement. Again, this is excellent if you're trying to strengthen, uh, you know, your knee, your ankle, or your hip, while at the same time creating the length uh, of the muscles and um, Again, it's not putting any inflammation on the joints. So this is why I really like this exercise on days off from the gym or uh, you know, a prep for, for any sort of activity that you're going to do that day. Good.